question number one, how do we generate cerebral organoids? We start with human embryonic stem cells or induced pluripotent stem cells, and we seed these on plates um, that are coated with Corning's HESC-specific matra gel, and this just gives them a nice matrix to attach to and grow as they continue to increase in density before they're ready to dissociate and move to the further steps of the protocol. So this is showing an example here of the morphology that you would typically want to see as you're culturing and expanding these cells. You don't want to see much differentiation, so anything that's less than 10% of differentiated cells within your culture is optimal. Once they reach about 80% in confluency, you'll notice you know, rather large colonies, um, as you can see here, with smooth edges and very little differentiation. At this point, you want to dissociate uh, these cells into a single cell suspension. And you have to be very careful at this stage because you can um, get a lot of cell death if you pipette too harshly or to help suspension. If you incubate them too long with EDTA, that again can cause problems. So all of these are things to keep in mind as you're going through the protocol and troubleshooting steps as you go. So like I said, when they're about 80% confluent, you want to dissociate them into a single cell suspension. And at this point, we plate them into a Corning low attachment round bottom 96 well plate. And you may be thinking, why would you use a round bottom plate? We do this so that when you plate the single cell suspension into the well, the round bottom plate helps the cells to clump together at the bottom and form what is known as an embryoid body. So at this point of embryoid body formation, um, the cells have the capacity to form all three germ layers. And we also use a rock inhibitor, which helps to prevent any dissociation-induced apoptosis that might occur through the pipetting process of creating that single cell suspension. So you use that for the first few days. And then you take these embryoid bodies using like a P1000 pipette tip, and you transfer them to another coated well. Um, depending on how many embryoid bodies we have, you know, we'll add 10 to 12 embryoid bodies per well of a six well plate. Again, you want to coat this plate with the HESC specific matrix gel to give them a matrix to attach to. And at this point, you're going to see the formation of these structures that are known as neural rosettes. So the reason that we include, include this neural rosette formation step is to enrich for neural stem cells and improve efficiency um, ultimately at the end of neuronal differentiation in the 3D organoid culture. 